Welcome back to Torque, the off-road championship presented by Amsoil. This is the battle at the chip, and our pro four-wheel drives are already rolling on track. You're looking now at Mark Jenkins, who had a battle royale with Johnny Greaves yesterday to take the win in round 11. He is our GoPro be a hero moment. This was some great racing. These guys went door to door several times fighting for that lead. Johnny Greaves has been a hard man to beat this year, but the one guy that has done is the 25 of Mark Jenkins. And right here, almost goes off that drop off, loses a couple spots, but he'll fight back. And Mark Jenkins was patient. See him coming here again too hard on the inside. He pegs that tire and almost goes over. But he wasn't done there. He went door to door once again with his rival, Johnny Greaves. They went at it. Great shot on board here. Look at this, the GoPro Mud Muncher mount. This is a special mount so we can actually take onboard pictures through the race. It cleans itself as it goes. Always a beautiful picture. These guys were side by side for a lot of the race, but in the very end, Mark Jenkins and that number 25 Traxxas truck did just enough to make sure he could hold off on Johnny Greaves. So Mark Jenkins in the number 25 takes the win in Pro 4. And there they are rolling. Mark Jenkins sitting back, though, in that third row. There is Mark Jenkins. He's going to have to fight his way through traffic to get the result he got yesterday. But really, the story this season has been either Johnny Greaves or Mark Jenkins getting the wins. And I think Mark Jenkins, I, he looks pretty good for today. He looked great yesterday. And we, we talked about this before. Johnny Greaves has a manual transmission. And he said when it started raining a little bit and got slick, it was really tough for him. But Mark Jenkins was really smart, great throttle control, was able to make the pass. Looking at the top of your screen, scrolling through, that is a starting grid. Ross Hook and Mike Jenkins, Mark's brother, are actually sitting there on the front row, and Hook has the pole position. When they come through to the stretch here, leading up to the start-finish line, they will have two cones, and in, be in between those two cones, Hook will have the choice to put the hammer down and start this race. A rolling start here in Sturgis. Well, we got, also got our podium drivers from yesterday on rows two and three. So, you know, they want to get to the front in a hurry, but we're coming to that green flag. Oh, holding them up a little bit there, and you can see. That was Scott Douglas banging all up the back of Mike Jenkins. Ross Hook there with the inside. Can he hold it on? We've seen guys slide through that first turn. Oh, and already in the back, I think Kurt LeDuc going around. And up the inside already, Johnny Greaves pushing his way through. Wow, Johnny Greaves made some amazing passes there right up the inside. He's drawn level with Hook, and he is chasing down what looks to be Mike Jenkins on the front. Mike Jenkins obviously wanting to be near the front. Yesterday, oh. and Johnny Greaves gets sideways. and. Fenders just flying off these trucks, but they hold their foot back into it. What, Johnny puts it back at the inside. How's this going to plan out? Oh, now Cheney coming in the orange <laughs> truck on the inside. Three wilds going for the Amazon drop zone. Oh, that is crazy. That's off the biggest jump into the wildest turn. Look at Johnny almost cleaning our camera out there on the inside, but he makes it stick. Wow, well, there isn't room oh. three wide. Where are they going? Oh, no. Hook, Ross Hook just came in and just smashed into the side of Adrian Cheney. And look at this, oh, more contact. Well, I'm sure we're gonna have some words between those oh, two after this so. race. Cheney hits Hook in the back there and pushes him off the side. Now Johnny Greaves running into the back of Mike Jenkins and Greaves makes the pass now to take the lead in pro four-wheel drive. It seems to be if you push out a little too far wide coming out of turn one, you hit that loose stuff. It's, it's, it's deep, it's wet, and it just drains some of that forward momentum and just enough for Johnny to get through. And remember the forward momentum up the hills. We saw how hard it was in the two-wheel divisions of ProLine Pro two-wheel drive. But here they're delivering all the power from that VP fuel to all four wheels, 900 horsepower. That's why they get the bike going up the hill. We saw though Adrian Cheney and Ross Hook having a little issue at the back there. For more on Cheney, let's check in with Tony Bachoven. Well, guys, he's off the track. He forewent the hot pit area, but the front end is towed in at least a foot. The right front wheel and tire is smashed clear in and uh, he's actually I'm watching him drive away through the pits and he's having a hard time steering that truck his front end is really messed up well uh, we saw it out the corner of the camera then I'm not sure exactly what happened but it looked like Ross Hook just came in with a whole head of steam Cheney had the truck pitched sideways and he just got t-boned by Hook and then they collected each other again after that but 
Johnny Grease doesn't know what happened behind him, nor does he care, because right now he did exactly what he wanted to do. He's come from that third row, and he does what Johnny Greaves does so many times, gets out front, because look at that. He was alongside yesterday's winner, Mark Jenkins, but Greaves made short work into the front, so now he's out front. Mark is sitting in fourth in front of him. We see Scott Douglas, Mr. Mr. Consistent. The guy who's been around forever. I call him the grandfather of this series. <laughs> but a fantastic, talented driver. Always there and thereabouts. And usually, he's usually got most of his truck together. Pretty, I'd say a little more conservative compared to a couple of the other guys, but a very smart driver. But that conservatism pays off. He's sitting in third place in the points. We go to Crandon next, a track that he knows how to drive. So this is good for him, a patient race is often the race you need to run to win. But then Mark Jenkins in the red truck, he managed to somehow survive all of the carnage in that traffic that happened with Hook and Jenny in the back. And remember, at the halfway point of the race, we have the competition caution. Red and yellow flags come out. The field bunches up nose to tail. So Mark Jenkins is not out of this by a long way. If there's someone that wants that red and white flag to come out, sorry, red and yellow, it would be this guy Mark Jenkins because he's in fourth but there's a bit of a gap the top four a little spread out now after that first lap bumping and grinding these guys got a little separation so right now he's just got to be smart maybe hope someone in the front spins out and makes a mistake but when they restack him and they bunch him back up he knows if I can get a great restart I can have a shot at this guy who he wants to beat for so many reasons they've had great races this year plus he needs to gain some points on that number 22 truck of Johnny Greaves until round number 11 yesterday, Johnny Greaves had won three in a row and he looked almost unstoppable, but somehow Mark Jenkins came back and got that one. Look at this, Kurt LeDuc, we haven't seen him in talk racing in a while. Uh, he had a rough start there, yeah. though. We saw him going sideways and off the track, but he's back in there. He's starting to pick it up a little bit. Sitting there in that fifth place. So a little gap behind the front four that seemed a little spread out. They come across the finish line and they will be on lap five. So remember, at the end of lap six, we'll restack them. There's the number five, the, the bootlegger, as they call him, Mark Kwame. He's sitting there in that sixth position. A little bit of a lonely drive for him right now. But he will get pushed up to the back of the field. So now you just need to drive smart, conserve the equipment. If you've got too big of a gap, don't worry about it. You come to that competition caution, you get that second chance to make a charge for the front. Well, sometimes when you're in this position, there's really not much to be gained, but a lot more to lose. So you don't want to roll it over or do something silly by trying to push to catch someone in front of you that's probably not possible with a with about a half a lap to go. And you saw just in the corner there how rutted and how hard this track is, and it would be easy just to peel one of those tires right off the rim if you drove it in too hard, especially when you consider 900 horsepower driving to these four wheels. So just be smart, be patient. We come up to that halfway point, and we'll re-rack again. Look oh, at look Douglas that. working on the inside of Mike Jenkins. He's got the inside. Does he have the drive? Jenkins keeps that momentum around the outside. Scott Douglas, probably a little bit nicer. I think that was the last lap. We might have seen some contact, but he's going to try to get up the inside. He squirts the truck up wow. there. Beautiful textbook truck racing maneuver there. Just put the truck in the way. It took the line away from Jenkins right before we come that competition caution. So guess what? He's going, I've got a shot at Johnny Greaves. Oh, look, Jenkins, though, he's looking to the inside here of the big hairpin turn nine. Does he have it? Whoa! They're they fighting. He does. They're going to fight all the way to the red and yellow competition Drag caution. race. Who will it be? Oh, almost a photo finish, but I think it was Jenkins. Jenkins by one hundred <laughs> of a second. So I guess I counted the chickens a little too early there because Scott Douglas must be going, are you kidding me? Look, he wants to go around him. He thinks he was in second. Oh, Scott Douglas tried hard, but I think he was in third. Tony, you got more on Scott? Uh, he told me they learned a lot yesterday. One of the things they did differently to the truck today is they slowed down the suspension. They talked about, we've talked about it all day, about how the track is changing and to be ready at the end of the race as uh, the track widens out, it gets a little more aggressive. He wanted his truck to, to have the suspension slowed down. Now the, 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 the risk is you lose that traction. The other part of it was he said, Tony, I decided I need to start getting more aggressive with these guys after he watched them yesterday. And I think we just got a glimpse of that coming to the competition caution.
Well, you saw there when Scott Douglas was going through that whoop section, his truck almost looked like it was on the flats. It was barely moving, so suspension tuning just perfect there. Let's take a look at that drag race of the competition caution. Mike Jenkins and Scott Douglas. So close. Douglas got a little sideways off that first jump, and that was just enough for Jenkins to squeeze him out. We look at timing and scoring. One hundredth of a second Jenkins had a bite. And Scott Douglas thought that he was ahead of Jenkins because of the top of the hill he was, but the timing loop is at the bottom of the hill. Here we go. Green again in our pro four-wheel drive. Johnny Greaves leads them out, looking for his seventh pro four win of the season. Uh, he's been on fire, but right behind him, he's got some hungry guys. He's in a Jenkins sandwich, though, know, Scott Douglas. <laughs> Scott Douglas say, yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head. He's caught between not only their brothers and great race car drivers, but he's in, Yeah, and so he's got to play offense and defense at the same time. So he goes to the inside doing the smart thing, hoping to find a gap. But he's got to have his spot has got to be working flat out right now, talking about what's happening in front of him and behind him. Because remember, these vehicles do not have review mirrors. They don't even have a windshield. I call it a barbecue grate. You're looking through it, you're strapped in. So you're spotting all your eyes and ears all around you. And the spotter's obviously up high trying to get a look at this whole track. And they have to tell you when the chance to get through is there. Speaking of the whole track, we see all the holes developing already. We've seen braking bumps, we've seen ruts. And this turn right here, beautiful kind of speedway turn. Slide that track. A lot of these other turns getting chopped up. Johnny Greaves trying to hold off the charge of the Jenkins brothers and Scott Douglas. Greaves again looking for his seventh Pro 4 win of the season. Can he do it? You'll find out soon. Welcome back, everyone, to Sturgis, South Dakota. This is the battle at the chip. Torque, the off-road championship presented by Amsoil. And look at that Amsoil truck there. Scott Douglas, he has got Mark Jenkins crawling all over the back of him. Mark Jenkins has found a way around this track fast. He showed yesterday that he can win, and he did it in convincing fashion by passing the points leader, Johnny Greaves. And today, once again, look at his line selection, trying to stay out of these deep holes and ruts. He's able to square these corners up. Look at that. And his wow. throttle control has been phenomenal because this track is still slick. Like I said, with 900 horsepower, you cannot put your foot to the floor all the time. You really have to feather it, work it, set that truck up. But with this track getting so rutted and grooved out, it's proving to be a little hard to pass. So right now, a lot of these guys hoping to make a mistake or force the guy into one. Well, Mark Jenkins certainly has been driving very smart lines, but he's got to work a lot because everybody else is in those 900 horsepower machines. Just listen to these things. This is the Magnaflow Sounds of Torque. Battle here for third and fourth, the Amsoil machine is Scott Douglas, the Traxxas machine of Mark Jenkins, and so far Mark has not been able to find a way past. Scott Douglas, a veteran of this series and a very smart driver. He knows what it takes. You think the truck's pretty wide, he makes it <laughs> twice as wide. Driving very smart defensive, and Mark just looking for that opportunity, probably getting a little frustrated, also because he needs to make up points on Johnny Greaves. And with Greaves in the lead and Jenkins in fourth, he knows he's got to make his pass. Inside, Where can he make he it happen? It. So he gets that power to the ground on the inside. Look at this, side oh, by side. Oh, wow. He now has the inside line, though, going through the whoop section up to turn one, which is a right-hander. He needs to hang on to his position, and he looks fast through the whoops. Oh, they're rubbing there. And Scott Great Douglas. Drive. 
Wow! Douglas completely committed, knowing he was on the outside, went for that cushion, set that truck up, put it sideways, got the power to the ground, and got all four wheels tracking hard up that hill. Second, third, and fourth, Jenkins, Douglas, Jenkins. Meanwhile, Johnny Greaves is loving the fact that these three are battling because he is in clean air out front. Clean air, clean vision, no one to worry about, not even any lap is near him. Exactly what he wants with less than two laps to go, and these guys still going at it. We got Mike Jenkins, followed by Scott Douglas and Mark Jenkins, yesterday's winner, and he really is getting impatient. I think they're all getting impatient because time is running out. They're coming up to the white flag, which signals one lap left to go in our pro four-wheel drive race here in Sturgis. Johnny Greaves goes across the line. Now, Jenkins, Douglas Jenkins again behind him. But Greaves has had a great race. Once he got out front there, he really just never looked back. Well, barring any sort of a mechanic on this last lap, it's his race to lose. But the battle for second is definitely not over. Look at these guys trying different lines. And look, Douglas up the inside. Jenkins gets a drive coming out. Douglas tries again to the inside. Oh, oh keeps it off it. it. Will he run it in DP and take that line away? That's exactly he what he needed to do. But now, oh, oh. Mike Jenkins is not letting go. Mike oh. Jenkins on the side of the course. The, tr the truck's oh, broken. No, truck is broken. So Jenkins, after fighting all the way through this race, he is off the side of the course. Johnny Greaves, though, coming down. He is over that off camber turn. One more turn left for Johnny Greaves. And this is the win he was looking for. Now the question is, who's going to get that battle for second? Look at this, Jenkins! Oh, wow. He does it again, Mark Jenkins in that same corner. He's made it work the whole time, and he finally sneaks through to second. Damage control there for the points. So one Jenkins brother sacrifices himself off the side of the course. The other Jenkins brother finally goes from fourth to second. But Johnny Greaves took the win here in Sturgis with a fantastic race right from the get-go. As soon as he got through to the front, he held that position. Johnny Greaves is our winner. We'll be sure to check in with him when we come back to Sturgis.